Yo, what's up? Dr. Swole here with our first video of the series, Basics of Training. In this series, I'm going to teach you the concepts of how to build a training program and walk you through step by step how to build your own workout plan. Our focus here is going to be on improving body composition. That is, we want to lose fat and gain muscle. Now, this series is going to be geared towards someone who wants to look better in clothes, all the way up to a competitive bodybuilder looking to compete. If that sounds something like you, let's begin. First of all, I want to introduce the concept of the staircase of training priorities. Now, if we want to build ourselves a training program, we're going to have to understand these concepts and be able to apply them in our own situation. Now, these concepts have different amounts of importance, and that's why they're on a staircase. You need to satisfy one before you can move on to the next, and the ones below dictate how you apply the concepts above. Okay, so starting off with the staircase here, the first concept is consistency and sustainability. I can't stress enough how important this is when you are writing your own training program. It doesn't matter if you work out every day for two weeks, really hard in the gym. If you take a month off after that, you're not gonna progress. So above all, when writing your own program, you need to take into consideration your own life and write a program that is sustainable for you. Next concept, progressive overload. Progressive overload can be defined as pushing your body over time to be able to lift heavier weights in the hypertrophy rep range. If you're progressing, you're probably growing, which brings us to the next concept, training volume. Now, training volume in the literature has been defined as the number of sets you do times the number of reps times the weight used on an exercise. Now, this can be approximated by the amount of work you're doing for that muscle. This is a really important concept. It's hotly debated in the literature, and we will talk about how much training volume you need to do in your program. Very briefly, the expert consensus in the scientific bodybuilding community right now suggests that we should be doing about 10 to 20 sets per muscle group per week. Train frequency. Now, this is how many times you hit a muscle group per week. At this point, there's some literature to suggest that we should be hitting each muscle group at least twice a week. The next concept is intensity, and intensity can be defined as the relative amount of weight you're lifting. Let's say for your maximum set of five, you can bench press 100 pounds for five reps. If you then bench press 80 pounds for five reps, you're doing 80% of your five rep max, and that is an intensity. There is evidence to say that as long as you're trained to failure, if you lift more than 30% of your one repetition maximum, you're going to grow. That being said, generally, I think we should bias our training towards the 6 to 12 rep range for logistical and practical reasons that we will discuss later. The last concept on our staircase of training priorities is exercise selection. Now I see a lot of resources out online telling you what kind of exercises you should be doing. What should I do to grow my chest? What should I do to grow my butt? Honestly, it really isn't that important. If you are performing exercises with good technique and you're progressively overloading, doing enough volume, frequency, and intensity, you're going to grow. That's all for now, guys. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Like the video. Leave me a comment and we'll see you next time.